everybody, how are you going? I hope that you are well. Today I have another packing video for you. So soon? Oh yes. Tomorrow I am off to Copenhagen with a few friends just before Christmas. We're going for three days and two nights. It's gonna be super Christmassy, but super freezing. And we're flying with EasyJet, and some of you will know that at the moment, EasyJet's policy is that you are only allowed one carry-on bag. So despite the fact that I told you that my everyday backpacking day bag, which I literally filmed like last week, I'm not actually bringing that with me because I can't fit any extra clothing in that. And I found that the last time I went on a short trip, that was too bulky to flat pack into a small suitcase. And I can't bring that everyday backpack and a small suitcase full of clothes, that ain't allowed. So we have to fit everything into this one bag only. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be packing into what I guess I will call my winter weekend break carry on. So firstly, I think I should mention my outfit for tomorrow, which I have laid out. I'm making sure that I'm wearing all of my bulkiest items so I don't actually have to pack them into my suitcase. My black leggings, which are from Fabletics. I'm wearing the coziest turtleneck, uh, like fluffy crop top from Forever 21. I've got a denim jacket, my coat, which I've been wearing for years from Primark. I've laid out my scarf, which is from Topshop, and my hat is from New Look. And then we've got my booties, which are from Forever 21. And then just all of my underwear and undergarments are there. So that will be for flying in and for day one. Then I have day two's outfit, which I've neatly folded already. I'm gonna be wearing some gray jeans, a nude turtle neck, like long sleeve tight top, and then also a nudie pink, really, really, really soft jumper. And on top of my outfits every single day, I'm gonna be wearing my denim jacket and my coat. So I will be looking kind of the same every single day, but I don't care, I'll be clean. And then on day three and to fly back again, I'm going to wear my leggings once again. And then I've got this tight long sleeve crop top from Gymshark as a kind of thermal layer. I've got a white jumper from H&M over the top of that. And again, with the leggings, with the denim jacket, with the coat, looking good. As for pajamas, I pretty much just always wear a big cozy t-shirt, so that's what I've got here. And also for walking around the house in the evening, I have some gorgeous cashmere socks, which I've never worn before, and I'm so excited for them. I'm bringing these nice little brown gloves, which I got from Primark. And as for underwear, I'm packing everything into this packing cube, so it just stays separate and I can find it easily. I've got three pairs of pants, three pairs of socks, and one like sports bra, because I only tend to wear sports bras these days, because they're so much more comfortable. So they just all go in my packing queue. Realistically, I probably don't need three pairs of underwear, but I don't know if we're gonna be going out in the evening or anything like that, so it's always just good to have a spare. Now, as for toiletries, I obviously have to make sure that everything's under 100 mil because it's gonna be going on a carry-on, and so if it's over 100 mil, they're gonna tell me to throw it away, essentially. So I've used one of my 100 ml squeezy bottles to put in my shower gel. I'm not bringing shampoo and conditioner because I just washed my hair this morning and I normally wash my hair every three or four days, so that should be fine. But what I will do actually is buy a little travel size dry shampoo when I get to the airport because I haven't got that already and thinking about it. I'm probably gonna be wearing a hat every day and my hair's gonna get gross. Currently I only have a big dry shampoo so that is something that I'm gonna get at the airport. And what I will also be getting at the airport is a travel size deodorant because I've realized looking at all of my deodorants that they are also over 100 ml. So dry shampoo, deodorant, two things that I'm gonna be getting at the airport. I'm bringing my fake tan um, face mist. I've mentioned this before. It just makes you look so much better and your skin looks more even and I love it and this is under 100 mil so that's absolutely fine to bring and I especially think in the winter months when you have a tanned face it just looks really nice my personal opinion I'm bringing my face moisturizer which is especially essential in the winter because your skin can get quite dry I'm currently using the Olay anti-aging moisturizer I'm 24 but you've got to start looking after your skin earlier right? and also Olay eye cream what else have I got in here um I've got just my normal toothbrush and some toothpaste which is under 100 mil. Normally I actually have an electric toothbrush these days, but it comes in this travel box which I still think is a bit bulky to carry in my small suitcase. So yeah, for three days I think I'll be fine with this one. And finally in here I've just got a couple of drugs. <laughs> the classic Dana's, this I mentioned in my last video um, because I can get a bit sniffly at the moment, especially if I'm going somewhere colder. Day Nurse and Night Nurse is the best cold and flu tablets I have ever tried in my life. They are so effective. They may not work on everyone, but they definitely work for me. So I'm definitely bringing them with me to Copenhagen. And also my anti-anxiety pills. <laughs> I haven't been suffering these days from anxiety or panic attacks at all. But this stuff is called Propopanolol. It has been prescribed to me and from what I understand, they slow down your heart rate. You're supposed to take a tablet 
if you anticipate that you might have a panic attack or if you anticipate a very stressful day. I did actually forget to mention this in my last packing video, but I do normally take these everywhere. Very, very, very rarely use them at all. But in all honesty, I'm just telling you everything that I pack and these are with me most of the time. And I'm not gonna go into all the makeup I own, but I am bringing my makeup with me, which is just in this bag here, which my mom got me this bag last Christmas. It says, maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's an Instagram filter. Actually, mama, don't use Instagram filters. I use VSCO cam filters, so. Oh, and how can I forget? I'm gonna be bringing face wipes too to get all of that makeup. So I'm keeping all of that stuff in this um, toiletries bag here, which is, I mean, probably a bit big for everything realistically, but it's all right. I reckon, I reckon it'll be all right. It says Christiane on it. Oh my God, I'm really revealing a lot about my bags today. This I bought online when I was drunk about five years ago. Completely have no recollection of ordering it whatsoever. And then a few weeks later, it just turned up on my door and I was like, I have just ordered myself a personalized bag. Wow, um, but you know what? I use it, so. This is nothing to be ashamed of. In terms of electricals, I will be bringing my laptop with me. This is just for the evenings in our Airbnb. I'm also bringing my hard drive and my headphones with me because I may get some editing and just listening to music and whatnot on the plane as well. Oh, forgot to mention my hairbrush. That's coming with me. We've got my laptop charger, my camera charger, which I'm filming on right now. So I will be bringing my Lumix GH5. I'm not going to be packing my Lumix GH5 in my case though. That is literally gonna sit around my neck the whole time. When I'm out and about and everything like that, it's only for a few days. I know I'm gonna be using my camera a lot because I'm gonna be making a video in Copenhagen. So for a couple of days, I feel okay to do that and just to literally have it around my neck the whole time and just be a crazy photographer lady. And my phone charger, of course. In terms of a second pair of shoes, yes, I am bringing a second pair. Um, I'm bringing my Nike trainers, which I'll probably wear on the second day. I wouldn't bring them, but I just can't guarantee that I'm not gonna get blisters with my boots. Like I can wear the boots for a long time, but I think three days of walking in them is a bit much because they are not walking boots. So yeah, I reckon I'll probably wear these on the second day. And these are gonna be the first things to go inside of my suitcase, which looks like this. Literally just your standard, typical carry on suitcase size. And one more thing, I'm just gonna be bringing this shopper kind of bag with me, which I can flat pack into my bag, um, which I'll probably be carrying around every day. If I do any shopping, I can put things in there. I, I, I just think this will be handy to have. And you know, it packs so flat into the suitcase that it doesn't even matter that it's there. In terms of other items which I always need handy, I literally just keep those in the pockets of my coat. They're always there. That's why I love this coat, because they've got nice big pockets. But we've got my purse in here, which has all my money in. I can keep my keys in here if we need to keep keys. Anything like that, or little lipsticks, they go in here. My portable charger in this one, and already with the cable, so that literally goes straight onto my phone. Speaking of my phone, that's also in here, as well as my passport. So obviously I'll only keep my passport in there on the first day and the other days. I think I'll be keeping that in the Airbnb because I don't want to be losing that. And there we go, there you have it. That's everything that I am taking with me to Copenhagen. I'm actually quite proud of myself because that luggage is not overly bulging and I feel like that's quite an accomplishment for me especially because that's normally my problem. I'm like, I can't fit everything I need to the, into this small suitcase. So yeah, really pleased with what I've chosen. We'll see if I'm still saying that after the trip. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and keep up with my Instagram stories to see what we get up to in Copenhagen. But I will be vlogging it and I will be posting that very Christmas Eve vlog on Christmas Eve. So make sure you look out for that. Or if you're not able to, I hope you have a really lovely Merry Christmas. Get everything that you wish for. I'm signing out for now. Have a good one. Bye.